Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to some more Kenshi, episode 41, our Holy Nation only playthrough, our group finally done with clearing most of, if I think all of, Okran's pride. Stack, Bad Teeth, Blister Hill, we finally managed to drive the enemy from our Holy Lands, but unfortunately, these areas will never quite be the uh, pinnacle of what they used to. But now it's finally time for our group to take the fight elsewhere, take it out of these locations and in to the Deadlands where it all began, where the skeleton army first rose up. And uh, this is going to be tricky. Obviously, we've got a few things to combat. Um, acid rain's the biggest thing, but there's mechanical spiders and obviously skeletons. So it's not going to be easy. Now, Cormac here has been leading the group on over here. We do have two new people, so I'd like to welcome Hans Stopo and Undaria as our new recruits into the army. The group is looking pretty good. Well refreshed, equipped, ready to go for the fight. We're getting a lot better. There's a couple of things we still need though. I want to improve our crossbowmen and pick up a few more crossbowmen. But I don't want to do that until I can actually get some better um, some better crossbows, some better bolts and stuff manufactured. So we need uh, engineering prints. Same with getting heavy armor. I want to get heavy armor for everybody, but I can't do that as well unless I steal it or I get um, ancient science books and more things so I can research that stuff. So we're hoping we'll get some of that in the Deadlands as well as we're here. Now, I've actually gone ahead and thrown some stuff on Boomer here. He's carrying some building mats and some iron plates because we're probably going to make ourselves a small little outpost here to keep us out of the acid rain and give us a place to rest, recharge, refuel wells. We go after these skeletons uh, here in the Deadlands and uh, whilst we also clear some of the ruins. Eventually, we'll be heading all the way down to the Ashlands and we'll probably build an outpost somewhere outside of there. I don't think there's acid rain in the Ashlands. So I don't have to worry about that, but I've heard that there's significantly other things uh, or some other significant things I've got to worry about. Um, you know, if, uh, don't spoil too much. If you haven't been paying attention, then shame on you. But um, I haven't, uh, I've never been to um, this far in the new part of the map. In the Fogman series, I did make it all the way down to the Royal Valley. Saw a lot of cool stuff there, but I've never been to Grey Shelf, Scenario Stark, Sniper Valley. Um, never been to any of these locations over here at all. Um, I think the farthest maybe Venge, I think maybe, just simply to pass through down south to get to Royal Valley, but never any of these locations. And uh, certainly not the Ashlands, never been down to the Fishman Islands, anything like that. And then most of this part of the map I've actually haven't explored either. Going into the crater and finding Clown Study, this way station and stuff, that's the farthest down that way I've been. I did do a lot of exploring of this part of the map. Um, during my Fogman playthrough. And uh, I haven't done a whole lot of this part either. Or even this part, really. But yeah, so we're going to be heading down the Ashlands. Which is just a testament to like how awesome Kenshi is. Because you can literally go super far without... You can play like hundreds of hours in this game without ever seeing entire sections of the map. Uh, we've got ourselves uh, a leader of the Traders Guild here, so we'd be nuts not to go ahead and trade with him. So I'm going to grab somebody up here with gear that I'd like to sell. Um, Black Joker or Salamander. I'm trying to clear up some space because I know when we start raiding these guys that we will end up... We start raiding the skeletons, that is, we'll end up with uh, lots of stuff that we're going to want. So the more we can get out of here, the better. So let's sell to make some room. We'll get rid of all of this heavier stuff. Wow, he already can't afford that. So we'll plan on buying all of the rations, food cubes. Um, that should allow me to sell this stuff. And anything else I can sell to make room. Um, this stuff eats up a lot of space. And that's probably it for space I can free up. One of those. Okay. 
Not bad, though. We've got a little bit of food from that. And frankly, we did make a little bit more room, and I guess that's all that matters. Hopefully, we don't run out, like I said. Uh, we could buy the med kits. It doesn't hurt to have them. It doesn't really gain me a whole lot of space or anything. There. That frees up just a little bit more. If I was to buy anything else, maybe the fabrics for making a bed, but I've got uh, other stuff, so there we go. We will leave that alone. I gotta figure out where we're going next. Hold on. Let's uh, go ahead and pull some of this stuff off, Salamander. And throw the food on Kevin. I just like keeping the food on him. It's easier that way. Then I know exactly how much food I have left by just popping in and checking on Kevin. Um, I know we're really good on kits. I think I made Cormac a medic, but he doesn't have a backpack yet. We'll hopefully give him one. Um, aside from that, everybody else is pretty good. It looks like the Reven could use a little bit of a top off. So we'll give him all of these. How's everybody else? The frog's pretty good. Kane. Everybody else is pretty good on medical supplies. Mortanius, maybe. Got a good amount of medics. This is good. Voisha. Archangel's a medic. Okay. And it stops right as soon as we get the Krager. And mainly just because I don't have enough pack bats. Um, once I get more backpacks, I'll make more medics. Um, obviously, Cormac and then uh, probably Krager will be a medic. But there we go for that. And uh, I'll just keep the rest on me. All right, so where are we going first? We know as soon as we step down here, we're going to be dealing with acid rain. I believe there is a ruin right directly down here. So that's where we're going to be heading. We're going to need to clear a ruin and kind of hop from ruin to ruin, healing up. Um, so that way people aren't uh, dying too quickly. I do have, um, some people got dust coats and stuff on that should help them a little bit. Uh, this is just kind of the nature of it. Unfortunately, this is really the only way I know of to get in here without crafting like a bunch of dust coats and a bunch of other stuff just heading right to these areas and dealing with it. I'm going to go ahead and open this armory door because it looks like it is unlocked. There's going to be a ton of security spiders in here and it's really really bad so actually I'm going to move everybody back this way and I'm going to try to bait them out real quick. Which shouldn't be too hard to do. We'll put everybody on hold. I'll just lead them away. No, 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 on hold. And then once they're nice and far away, we should be able to head inside. Okay, that didn't work too well. There we go. It looks like the other ones, though, did go for the group, and that's fine, I guess. So long as it's a little bit of them at a time. We'll put half... Uh, um, actually, no, just all of them on one. And then I'm going to get the group inside. So let's go. Everybody inside. Nobody's gone down yet. Nobody's dead. That's good. Kane's walking, because why not? Hans is pretty damaged. I'm just going to go ahead and pull these spiders apart real quickly. I just don't want them getting up, and then I guess I'll pick... Hans up. Kane, why don't you move a little bit quicker than that? Uh, we are fighting more security spiders in here, but I think we'll be okay. I'll actually take everybody off hold. So that way they get in there and do some damage. Like I said, though, everybody should be good. Let's 
Are animals affected by acid rain? They don't seem to be affected at all. That's good. I didn't think that they were. I wasn't too sure. All right, so everybody's in here resting. Tarsus is unconscious. He's going to live. Gnu's down. I'm going to pull the rest of the junk off these security spiders. Just keep an eye on the animals. Yeah, I don't think the acid rain's bothering them at all. Um, so that's good. Oh, boy. My dog is very, very upset. This, somebody's pulling in the driveway. I can hear the vehicle pulling up, so she's just getting all uh, upset about it. All right, we'll put uh, Hans down here. He seems to be good to go. Uh, leave the door open for now. We'll go drop off these arms and stuff. Nice. And this will be our temporary home. From the acid rain, at least. You can see everybody's pretty beat up, but they're recovering. So they'll uh, recover once we go ahead and loot this place. Let's check the upstairs, make sure it's all clear, and it is. I don't see any beds in here. So, no place to rest unless I was trying to set up sleeping bags, which I probably won't be able to do. We do have a weapon. Ah, uh, you know, it's really not worth taking, actually. At this point in the at this point in the game. But I'll throw it on Boomer for now. We're actually going to build an outpost pretty close to here, I think. I'll send a scout out just to find the city. Might not. Might build it closer to the city, as close as I can get it. I don't want to be walking too far. Once we go to do combat with the skeletons, it's going to get tricky. I'm oh, sorry. I had to get some water. Yeah. All right. Let's start with over here and work our way around. Hey, there is some steel bars if I wanted them. Okay. I'll take that and we'll just work our way around the entire outside of the bottom part that is awesome an old world bow, uh, bow. I'll definitely take that alright let's go over here and see alright MK2, yeah, we'll take that. No cactus run, but some chain um, rums, but some chainmail sheets. Yeah, I'll take that. Some armor plating. Uh, we're gonna skip over it. Um, nothing in that weapon display. All the other good stuff's probably gonna be in here. I'll take that plate mace for sure. All right, let me go trade with Boomer real quick. Keeping all these weapons that I know I want to keep on him. As well as this stuff. Again, the stuff I want to sell on Salamander. Kevin's got all the food. And now to search this room, which there's a lot to search, but... Maybe not a lot in here. These chests are all empty. I always find usually if you got to pick lock something, there's always something in it. I will take the fabric. We might make beds. I think, well, yeah. maybe not actually. We can always come back. Ooh, blackened chain hive shirt. Nothing we can wear, but it's worth a lot. Bunch of raw stuff, hinge steel bars. There's a meat wrap. Okay, so last but not least, the safe with hopefully all the ancient science books in it or engineering blueprint or something. Uh, skeleton leg, left skeleton leg. Ooh, edge type one though, katana. We got somebody using katanas. I think one of our new guys is using katanas. I think it's Undaria actually. He is. He's already got an edge type three. We'll drop... Oh, no, no, no. Edge type 3 is better. Okay. Uh, we'll... Leave him the Nadachi. It's actually not really that good against robots. Uh, as for the left leg, I don't think anybody in this group's missing a left leg. We did bring some extra limbs with us if we needed them. 
Uh, they are all right. So I'm going to say there's some people back at the home base who are missing uh, left legs. I actually would almost guarantee it. Okay, some of this stuff can be sold. So I'm really not going to use it at this point. Like the battle hoe. I'm going to sell the plate mace I think I'll keep. And the other stuff in here, I guess. But that can go. And the edge type one. And then the rest of this can go on Black Joker. This is all stuff that's going to sell, including all this, except for that. And the food, yeah, just take that. Somebody will eat it. But that's to be sold. Just throw the food on here for now. Well, actually, put it all in Kevin because he's got the space now. Okay, perfect. So I don't think I can set anything up here. Can I, oh, I can. So this could be an outpost and then I wouldn't have to build one. Um, interesting, I did not know that you could do this. Okay, let me see how close we are to the actual skeletons. Who am I going to send out here? Who's got good acid rain protection? Uh, Richard actually held up pretty well to the acid rain. He's got the specialist long coat, 70% acid rain protection, um, plus the armored hood, 25%. So he's he's pretty damn good, actually. I don't even know if he takes any acid rain damage at all. So dust coats and armored hoods, huh? Rising hate. His is only 60%. And that's 70, 80%. So 90%. So he's almost there. All right, Richard, since you have 100% protection, we're going to send you out. Oh. Iron spiders, two of them, okay. Let's not get noticed. Let's have Richard go find out what we're up against. So yeah, that's why making dust coats and stuff like that would be really, really good. Okay, Black Desert City is significantly far away. So if Richard can find us maybe a closer area we could run to, to set up outpost, that would be ideal. Make sure none of these are alive. It's going to be interesting going for Black Desert City. We'll have to f we'll have to try to fight uh, skeletons or drag skeletons into the houses. Um. So that way, we're not fighting out in the acid rain. And what are we looking at for guards here? Pretty tough though. So at the same time, it's almost going to be like we're going to have to pull these guys like away into a safe location to fight. This could be tricky. The guards are definitely tough. Like Shek tough and stats are pretty through the roof. Um, their health is high as well. But we've got a bar and a large storage and a robotic shop, which we can get a lot of limbs from the robotic shop if we can get it cleared. And then a scrap house would be obviously one of our more bigger goals. Plus the armory, I think, would be pretty handy. So how close could I build like a bug house? Not close at all. Oh, okay, not close that way, but this way on the other hand, interesting. Oh, so I, but I can put it like right there or even right here. That might be my best bet. Let's see what else we got. The 
You know, because if things do go south and we've got to retreat from the town, then I need a safe place to be able to do that. Richard, are you being harmed? You seem to be handling it perfectly fine, my man. Oh. Just stay low. Stay low. Okay. Let's see, what if we were to place a house over here? That's almost better. Whether or not we can get up here across the bridge, though. It's kind of another thing. See, because we don't have access from this side, I don't think. Let me check. Oh, we can get up through there. Through right there. This is probably the best place to put it. All right, I want to see what we've got here. Now, I don't think the acid rain's hurting me right here. I think I'm considered to be underneath this structure. But I have no idea how to tell. If we decide to attack this, what are we dealing with? Security Spider 2s, which we could handle. Dak, on the other hand, and Quinn. Um, Quinn, not as hard. Shopkeeper. Dak is pretty damn impossible and they've got these soldier bot guards and they're tough too this would have to be people that we would have to pull um two or so at a time and fight because we're not going to be able to fight the whole lot but if we get this cleared out these uh weapon cabinets and stuff the small box the safe mm, there's a lot and i mean a lot of good gear to be had up here if you can clear this out. It's really difficult to clear. Almost damn near impossible. Um, do they hate me or would they trade with me? No, they, they despise me. Okay. So that's that. Then from there, we can cross the bridge to the other side to fight people. So yeah, I'd say that this is definitely the outpost location. Um, there's no doubt in my mind on that. I'm going to have Boomer come this way, hopefully without getting killed because we're going to utilize him since he doesn't seem to be affected by acid rain. He's carrying all the materials. He's going to bring it over to Richard. I think I'm just going to have Richard go ahead and build it. It might take him some time, but he can get started on it and then I can grab somebody else, I guess, to do some more exploring because the Lost Armory is just way too far away. Too much of a risk. All right, so we would put a bug house, I think, right here. All right, there's the closest I can get it. I'm happy with that. All right, Richard, get to work. Get to work. It's going to take you a long time, my friend. It's not really your specialty, or is it? No, de definitely not his specialty. He'll get better at it, though. If there's anybody I can count on to get something done, it's Richard. Nice. He's already got the foundation down. <laughs> Good job, Richard. It's looking better already. Who else can I send over here? We looked at Rising Hate. Reven. 70. Yeah, you, Reven. I need you over here as well. Draith Goodwin. We're picking up our Dusko people first. 60. Okay. There's not a whole lot. I saw a good amount of Dusko people, but... It, now going through it, Scoops is also the man with the plan. Rising hates 60, 70, 80, 90, so he would get injured, I think. Have him give Richard a hand. 
And then while they're building that, I think I'm gonna have Scoops go out and do some exploring. We just have uh, Richard grab a few more building materials. And Reven, so we can make sure we're getting this thing done. I'll even have Scoops grab some just to put them into the building. He'll add the materials right into that. All right, nice. Let's see. Let's see what we're up against. We got another ruin up here. Um, another ruin down there, all the way up here. The ruins would be nice to clear, but I don't think we're gonna be able to clear most of them actually. I think it's gonna be way too risky. Let's head into town and see what we've got. You guys need to keep building. Adding materials, are you pulling right off a... Looks like they pulled them right off a of boomer. So if that's the case, um, we could probably pull the people out of the armory first. And then the people, the bar, we could probably just push right into. These houses are going to be tricky. I really just want to get to the robotic shop and I want to clear the scrapyard. God knows scrapyard's going to be a nightmare. No building materials. Okay, we can almost get the group there. Or get the group over to the bug house. Oh boy. Oh, scoops. No. Boomer, no. Oh, they got him. I thank God. Wow, it pulled a lot more skeletons too than... Oh, no. Okay, scoops actually got a hit on that guy, which is kind of cool. Ah, I don't want to fight. Oh yeah, not that not that guy. No, may, maybe this guy, but not that guy. These guys aren't coming over here, right? Doesn't look like it. This guy's still following us. The other guy is leaving. Well. Alright, let's see what you guys are made of. You gotta get in there. Richard! We need all of you fighting at once. Or you're not gonna win. Ooh. Got a good hit in there. Well, he's doing a number to us, but we've got him. There we go. Good job, guys. Let's get some healing done. I know everybody needs it. Good job. Richard definitely took the, the worst beating. 95%, 95%. So the acid rain's affecting them all just a little bit. Let's uh, definitely disarm this guy. Oh, we don't have the room to do it with him. Um... Let's just throw it on Boomer. I don't even know if Boomer's got the room for it. Oh, he does have the room. And hopefully that guy just dies there. It's good. Nice fight, guys. Now get this, get this done. So I can get the rest of the group here. You too, Reven. Oh, 
All right, perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and get this built. I know a little bit of a slower episode. Thank you guys for your patience in the last um, few days and stuff. I've been very busy just trying to wrap things up with work before the holidays, but now I'm on break. So you'll get your videos uh, significantly more frequently than before. And the next couple episodes are definitely going to start getting interesting. So you're going to want to stick around and not miss any of this. We've almost got the bug house up. Once we do, the whole group will be here. They'll be ready to go. And then we'll be taking the fight to the skeletons. It's going to get, it's going to get hectic. The skeletons will be a very difficult fight. But I think if we play our cards right, we pull a few at a time. We can fight them off. Take lots of time healing in between. We should be able to get some pretty good stuff out of here as well, which is what I'm really looking forward to, especially weapons out of these scrap house. So that being said, I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time.